Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be an Abercrombie & Fitch and Hollister come shop with me. But first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt, welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you like to come shop with me, like we're doing today. We normally do them around usual suspects of like Primark, H&M, Zara. Um, but today we're doing it a bit different because I went to Westfield today. Um, if you like your haul as well, I've done hauls from lots of different places as well as Too Good To Go, Bad Grocery Hauls, other vlogs, other come shop with me, so all that kind of thing. If you do like that, it's free, no cost to you for subscribing. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. But as I said, today I went to Westfield, London, White City, Shepherd's Bush, whatever you want to call it. I went over there, I did a little drive, it took me two hours to get home, but ugh, that's because there was road closures and stuff. No, that's by the by though. But um, yeah, I went to Westfield. Um, not to go here specifically, I went to Westfield to go to go into the new Sephora store which it opened, which I'll leave the link to up above there, the first UK store in the UK, um, or back in the UK, so I'll leave that linked up there if you want to check that out to see my thoughts in the little haul. But today I went in Abercrombie and Hollister, now I have done videos on them in the past and I've done the Abercrombie haul this year, so I'll leave some stuff linked up below, up the top. And Hollister and Abercrombie, 10 years ago, was all about it. Loved it. They have obviously went through some controversy. They've come out the other side and they're two different brands. Well, they're the same company, same umbrella company still. But the branding, everything is totally different. So, um, and they have actually got now more Abercrombie stores in the UK than they used to as well, which is exciting so i actually yesterday i was in battersea power station didn't film anything there really but i was in battersea power station and they have an abercrombie there so i went in there and saw some things that i did really like um so i thought today i'm going to go into the abercrombie in westfield which is a much bigger store and i also went in the hollister which is a new hollister um store and i think they've moved it um, from what I remember, um, and I think the Abercrombie store is where the Hollister store used to be. Fun fact, that Hollister store where it used to be was, I think, the second Hollister in the UK, and I think the first one was in Brent Cross, which is no longer there, but it was the her first Hollister I ever went in, what was that, like 15 years ago probably, and I bought my first t-shirt in there, and prices of the t-shirts back then were expect like £18, but today they're actually cheaper than they used to be, but anyway, let's get on into the come shop with me, and at the end we'll do some thoughts on what I think of them now. So first up, Abercrombie, which is near Apple, um, and then in the store this is what it looks like, obviously a lot lighter, a lot brighter than it always used to be, Savile Row on or, um, where the flagship Abercrombie used to be was very dark, very but that was the vibe they were going for. Shorts, and um, they've got lots of shorts. We're going into summer now, some nice shirts. That teal one's nice. This one that has um, all of this kind of print on a bit. Well, it's got California and stuff on, um, so it's really nice. Let me have a look. I was trying to find the price of this. I believe it was, let's have a look, 60 quid for that, um, which, you know, is a bit up there but Abercrombie always was um, but I feel like that would have been more expensive back in the day slash they wouldn't have done a print like that it would have just had you know the mousse on it or something I'm not sure but these I believe were £18 for those which is like they would never have done anything that cheap in here before um, these shorts were really nice but I didn't I, the price was a bit steep on those and this was the sale section they had like polo shirts in the sale sale if I can speak um, and lots of different like Graphic tees, which they would never have done before. Back in the day, we're talking 10 years ago, they would never have done that um, in terms of like non-branded graphic tees. And then we've got some branded ones, which are a lot less heavy on like a massive logo than they used to. Um, and these were £22. Next stop, Hollister, which also has Gilly Hicks, which used to be a brand, um, which they like culled and then brought it back. This store, again, a lot brighter, but you can still see in this one a bit of the remnants of what Hollister used to be but I believe that is now completely gone from a new new store I think there's a new one in Manchester Arndale for example you've got like cargo shorts which were very back in the day um which they're obviously back now um lots of shirts some that don't have branding on some that do some of but most of them have like just a little bit like the little um seagull but like that one no branding on it whatsoever if you didn't know you wouldn't know it's hollister so there you go if that is your vibe then it is 
um, and then we obviously have Hollister branded stuff as well that was actually a really nice color I do really like this color and I wanted to just see what the price was um, of these because probably back in the day that would have been 50 60 quid um, and then we've got some more muted things we've got like polo shirts which they would have done back in the day as well um, and then white just like shirts which are really nice some with small branding some with not even any branding and then they do like running stuff now or like workout gear um, and then they also have 50% off and other sale bits at the back which they always used to do and a bit more heavily branded stuff here as well so that was a come shot with me around Abercrombie and Hollister let's do Hollister first. This store completely changed in terms of obviously the out the frontage of Hollisters. Um, newer Hollisters or redone Hollisters no longer looks like a beach hut. Um, that is all changed. Um, and inside the store, it's obviously a lot brighter and area, no little rooms and things like that. In terms of what was on offer, we still do have logo stuff, which did also have logo stuff in Abercrombie as well. But there's a lot less of it. It used to be splattered all over everything, but now it's not. But you still have the little moose and the little seagull as well in Hollister, the moose in Abercrombie um, on things, um, but not to the same extent. And they had like a very, Hollister had lots of, actually they had very similar things in terms of Hollister had lots of, um, I wouldn't say crochet, but you know, that kind of thing where it was open, like shirts and things, um, which is a theme that we've seen a lot in a lot of places that I've been recently in terms of shopping. If you can hear drips, it is raining outside. Um, yeah, so Hollister, and they do have a sale section at the back as well. I did go in Abercrombie as well, obviously, because this is an Abercrombie haul. Um, and it's not a haul. I did not buy anything. Um, I nearly, I was tempted to, because um, there was something I saw in Battersea yesterday. It had a t-shirt, £22. Would have been 30 back in the day. Um, with just embroidered writing right here that said Abercrombie and Fitch New York or something. Embroidered in like cursive little, it wasn't, it was like, ha not handwritten, but you know, handwriting kind of thing but not like the man you know how boohoo did that and like everyone copied it i think boohoo did it probably someone a lot different did it but um yeah so that was 22 pounds i was considering getting those one a t-shirt with that on and i did look in the sales section of abercrombie as well um abercrombie is i don't know if it's obvious but it's always traditionally been at a higher price point than um Hollister used to be and I saw that definitely we saw there was some really nice shorts and things in there in Abercrombie but they were a little bit more pricey um than Hollister Hollister always used to be pricey but Abercrombie was pricey as well um but yeah there was some nice bits I didn't pick anything up I nearly did in terms of that Abercrombie thing and I did think about going back and getting it getting it after I went in all the shops that I wanted to and didn't buy anything else um but I decided against it in the end because I don't need, I bought a t-shirt today which was £12 which will be in another video, um, that will be probably before this but didn't need a t-shirt so I didn't buy the t-shirt but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, have you bought anything in Hollister or Abercrombie recently, I know the images are totally changed like they no longer have the store in Savile Row, it's now on Regent Street, I believe, is there one, there's one in Manchester, um, I'll have to have a look on the Abercrombie website to see where all the stores in the UK are. We have got an outlet as well, which I've not been to, which is in um, Ashford. And we have a Hollister outlet somewhere as well in Braintree, I think. But obviously Hollister had lots more stores in the UK, which they still do. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Have you bought anything from them recently? Have you been in store recently? I have done an Abercrombie haul in the last three two months and I'll leave that linked up the top where I did an online order of sale stuff which was really good actually thinking about that I did have 15% off that I could have used for Abercrombie because um they had like a birthday offer because it's my birthday recently I could have done that and I got could have got that t-shirt for less than 20 probably but anyway I did not so it's gone but yeah let me know your thoughts down below if you're not already please take a moment to subscribe it's free there's no cost to you for doing so just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when i upload i do normally do three videos a week sometimes four so definitely make sure you are subscribed for more hauls come shop with me it's too good to go bags and grocery hauls all on this channel um as i said it's free no cost to you just click the button and ring my bell and also follow me at scrubs which are always linked down below but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one Bye.